What's up guys, it's your boy Hella Faded here today with another Call of Duty gameplay, but this time it is not part of our sporadic setup, it is simply me just playing a game on containment, wanting to talk about a couple of things, um, well mainly one big thing that revolves around a bunch of smaller things, um, so this is a uh, an overlap commentary um, of this game, but uh, really the biggest thing I want to talk about was I wanted to know what you guys are excited for during this year, whether it's really anything but i'm talking more video games what sorts of things are you looking forward to what games you know because why not you know i'm curious because you know what you guys might know of i might not and i can look into it you know my whole thing is is i love mmos um which you guys clearly know you know from me playing world of warcraft and, and all that i love mmos so, you know, free MMOs of any kind, you know, I'm always willing to try. Like, I've played Perfect World, Forsaken World, War of the Immortals, Battle of the Immortals, um, Jade Dynasty. I mean, I've played them all. All those um, are actually from Perfect World Entertainment. But, of course, I've also played World of Warcraft. I've played Guild Wars 2. I've played Rift. I've played Aeon. Even, um, it was a private server, but I played it nonetheless. Uh, no, I might have played the free-to-play. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I've played it, um, you know, and, and all sorts of other games that have come out over the last, you know, year or so. Like, I've played Vindictus, uh, Ninth Continent, uh, or Seal of the Ninth Continent, as they like to call it. But there's a lot more games coming out this year that either have already come out that I want to play or haven't come out, but I'm going to play. Um, so a couple of those games that I personally am going to play would be, um, I want to play Mario Kart 8 for the 3DS, because I'm a huge Mario Kart fan, and I don't own a Wii U, and then I want to do Super Smash Brothers, because that game, I will forever love Super Smash Brothers. I got it for the first time, I think, on the N64, and ever since then, I've played every single one of them to the fullest extent, and I absolutely fell in love with it. So, <laughs> if I do end up getting that game, and some of you guys have them, I'll get your 3DS like player numbers. And we can we can fight it to the death. <laughs> a couple of other games that I actually I haven't played yet, but I want to play. I want to play Titanfall. I don't know. I don't currently own an Xbox, nor do I. I mean, and I'm not one for per first person shooters on the PC, so it's kind of disappointing for me. I do wish that they made it for the PS3 and PS4. Oh, pardon me, you guys. Pardon me, I just woke up. Um. But I understand that each system is always going to have its, you know, unique games. Like with PS3 and PS4, it was Infamous. Second Son um, was one of the games that were strictly dedicated towards PlayStation. Um, so, you know, there's all, there's been a big variety of games. But Titanfall has always looked like one of the most badass games that I've, you know, that I've just from footage and trailers and, and all that. So, you know, that's definitely one game I want to try. Um, and then I actually just re found out that they have a Fear Online. It's a free-to-play MMO. Or I don't know if it's an MMO, but it's a free-to-play. And if you guys haven't played Fear, that game is the shit, man. I don't think I've ever screamed so hard in a game in my life. I mean, other than maybe from, like, Amnesia. Um, but Slenderman never really horrified me too much. But, God, man, Fear. That game was so much fun. I played it with, like, three friends of mine. And these little SOBs, we were screaming like little girls during this. And we were playing it during the broad daylight in the living room, you know, where sun was peeling in. And it was summertime, so it was nice and bright outside. It, But, oh my god, and then later that night, we walked up to the local McDonald's. Man, and shit. Like, what the hell? We started freaking out, see, thinking that we were seeing things. And then, of course, when we got home, we had to finish the game. I mean, of course, you know, what's the point in starting it if you're not going to finish it? Biggest mistake of our lives. Um, and then Fear 2 and Fear 3 we played, but they weren't as good, I don't think. Fear 1 was definitely the best one, in my opinion. So I definitely have to try that out. Um, and then, you know, there's just, in general, quite a few games that I know of that are coming out later this year. Like, I definitely want to play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And if you haven't seen my video for that, for the trailer breakdown, just uh, click the link in the description below, and it'll take you directly over there. It's just me watching the trailer and then breaking down the things that appealed most to me. Because, you know, I think everyone notices things differently in a trailer, like what appeals to them. And 
it, generally, I feel most people look at the same shit, you know. But they're always going to be thinking, oh, that looks so much cooler. And someone else will be like, eh, you know, eh, it doesn't really appeal to me. So that's kind of my perspective is that I watch it and be like, oh, cool. You know, but there's been a lot of controversy over that game, so we'll see what happens, you know, but that's definitely one of the bigger games I'm looking forward to, and by then I'll hopefully have a PS4. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, I got a lot of shit coming for you guys of all sorts of games. So, again, if you guys enjoyed, leave it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.